whatever industry we're within, we always get the, the chief exec in his suit to talk to people and tell everybody how wonderful everything is. But of course, one of the most important things about AST are its students. Without the students, there would be no AST. And so what we'd like to do now is to invite Mark Netherway, uh, an AST student, and give you a short presentation on being a student at AST. I also did a slide slide presentation. <laughs> Um, okay, right, time to come. <laughs> when I was asked to do this, naturally, I felt absolute fear and horror. But then I very quickly realised that actually, no, this is a really great opportunity. It's an opportunity to practice my presentation skills, for one. It's an opportunity to step outside the comfort zone. But mostly, it's an opportunity and a privilege to stand up in front of such significant people. So thank you for that. Obviously some of you will know me as we are fellow classmates. Some of you will know me as you're my wonderful lecturers. Some of you may also know me because you're actually my mum. <laughs> Sue drove nine hours to see a big boy's moment, so uh, let's hear it for Sue. <laughs> Saying that, knowing the way you drive, it was probably what, four hours? Okay. So, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Mark. I'm a student of AST. I'm going to tell you a quick bit about myself. And those that do know me know I'm pretty good at talking about myself. So, I'm 31. I'm the second oldest guy in class. If you're wondering who the oldest guy in class is, it's James. <laughs> Give him away, James. <laughs> private class joke, I promise to keep them to a minimum. So, I'm 31, I left school at 16, and in those 15 years I've had various jobs. I had established myself within the fitness industry as a personal trainer, but nothing remotely to do with aircraft or engineering. But throughout my life, I've always had an interest, always had a dream, pop in and out of my head, on and off over the years of working with aircraft. The older I got and the longer I left it, the more unrealistic it became, and I was less likely to act on it. But eventually I did act on it. I started looking into it and immediately I felt very intimidated by the whole thing, I'm very out of the depth. I didn't really know where to start, to be honest. The internet was talking to me about things like part 145s and 147s and a cat A and a cat B, and I didn't really have a clue. I still don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking, we've we done it. We have done it. <laughs> so, it looked as though I might need to get a degree, uh, which is four or five years worth. And to get a degree, I would have needed A levels another two years. And at 31 already, this dream started to look a little bit unrealistic and maybe a little bit out of reach. But then, good old, good old Google search gave me AST. Big chip. I had actually organised for the Red Arrows to fly at this point. <laughs> must be running late. Um, I found AST and they were incredibly helpful from the very start. Before I even got here I had numerous email conversations back and forth with Neil. Big cheers Neil. <laughs> Neil was incredibly helpful and provided lots of details that started to paint a clearer picture and, and made me feel confident that, that this path was actually going to be, uh, was actually going to work for me. Someone starting at the very beginning with absolutely no experience. So here I am, about halfway through, I've got modules under my belt and it's actually happening now. It actually feels possible that I may actually be able to be who I want to be and do what I've always dreamed of doing. So that brings me back to where I started this, where I mentioned opportunity. AST has been an incredible opportunity. The support is always there. It's been made very clear by everyone from the very beginning that should a student need a little bit more time or further help on something, every one of our instructors is more than happy to provide it. 
facilities are amazing, especially down here at the hangar. My class in particular, we haven't spent much time on the actual hangar floor itself yet, but we are due to soon, and I know I can't wait to get involved. And I know Bella can't wait to get here and break things. <laughs> Each of our instructors provides an absolute wealth of knowledge, and the odd war story. They are all down to earth, and they treat us like animals. There's a good atmosphere in class, of course there are boundaries, they are firm but fair, but it's a nice environment and we have a, nice, we have a laugh between ourselves and a laugh with the instructors. With the instructors, not at the instructors. Like I mentioned, I've come with no experience. The likes of James has come with years of experience. The likes of Yannick has come with military experience. Nobody's too sure where Steve came from. <laughs> But there is a really great mix of different people, and it is really great that AST is able to accommodate and develop each of us. As already been mentioned, our class is made up of lads from all over the world. We've got boys from Scotland. Really? <laughs> I don't understand the word they're saying, but they seem like that. <laughs> We've got guys from India, from Malaysia, and of course from the Seychelles. There's also been lads from Bahrain, Oman, Kuwait, Dubai, Iceland, and I know that in other classes there'll be people from other countries too. The fact that all of these people from all of these different places come here to AST speaks volumes to me. I do actually want to appreciate at this point that what we're studying obviously isn't easy. It's hard enough for me. But for all the foreign students, for everyone, they need to get their minds around this stuff, but they also need to translate it into their own language too which I think is pretty incredible. Not only am I now on the path to becoming an aircraft engineer, but through AST I've also made some genuinely really good mates from all over the world. <coughs> I am incredibly proud to be studying to be an aircraft engineer, and I am incredibly proud of doing so with AST. Thank you very much.